an ideal generated by Px is maximal in Fx. F is a field. If and only if Px is an irreducible polynomial in Fx. So this is one of the important theorems to show how a certain ideal can become a maximal ideal. So we will not take the proof, we will take some examples. The proof can be seen from some standard textbook. So what is an example? So I am looking in Qx. We consider a polynomial consider px equal to standard x squared plus 1. Now we know that px has no roots. In px has no roots in q and this of degree 2 and degree 2 polynomial therefore we can say that px is an irreducible polynomial in qx and therefore by the above theorem the ideal generated by px The maximal ideal in Qx. So this is how one can show that then an ideal is maximal. Now what this helps is that if I'm looking at Qx quotient x squared plus one. What can I say about this? We have just we know that if R is a ring and if M is maximal, then this R by M becomes a field. So here x squared plus 1 is maximal and this is R by M. So the QX or x squared plus 1 this will become a in the field. For example, you can take Rx or any polynomial Px. Px is irreducible in Rx. And this will again become a field by the same theorem. Example I'm taking Z phi x quotient x square plus three x plus two. Now what can I say about this? If you look at x square plus three x plus two. And take x equal to in z phi zero one two three four. And then I will check each of the four. Check if we get a root. So we have that if. No root, then I will say that this polynomial is reducible, and therefore that phi x over that will become a field. If 
सम रूट दिस मीन दिस आइडियल इज नॉट आइडियल नीड नॉट बी ए मैक्सिम आइडियल And then I can say that this is certainly not a field. If suppose I get it is not maximum, this implies that it need not be a field. So leave it to you to check whether this is uh, irreducible or not, and then you can conclude. This is how we can show something is whether something some quotient is a field or not. So let me move on. Looking at some ideas again, very important of prime ideas. So what is the ring? The P is a prime ideal. First of all, P is an ideal. P should be not equal to R. Say that the product A B is in P. Either A should belong to P or B should belong to P. So this is the definition. So either A should be inside P or B should be inside P. It should not happen that both are outside. This is not good. So this should not happen. At least one of either A is inside or B is inside. If both are inside, no problem. But at least one of them must be inside the set P. In that case, I will call this P to be a Prime ideal. Now, simple example to understand. We look at Z. I'm looking the set P as singleton zero. Okay, so the whole segment of it is Z. And P is only having one element zero. All other numbers are outside. So if A B is equal to if A B belongs to P, this the P has only zero. So this means A B must be zero. So A is an integer, B is an integer. Multiplication is zero. So what can we say? At least one of them is zero. Both also can be zero. Since A belongs to P, the zero is P. So, so A, so A B is in P. We want to conclude that A belongs to P or P belongs to P. So this means P is a P, which is single to zero is a prime ideal in Z. Can we generalize this? What is the property of Z? If the product of two integers is zero, then at least one of them has to be zero. And what is this property? It's actually Z is an integral domain. Z is an integral domain, and therefore zero ideal. Ideal. Therefore, what I will write in general is that in an integral domain, zero is always a prime ideal. 